Hey guys, the kid dude here, and today I have a mystery unboxing. So I got this package this morning, and I think I know what it is. You guys can probably tell from the title of this video, but if I had to guess, it is the ghost cubes, the metal ghost cubes. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So let's see if it says on this. No, it still doesn't even say on this package. It is. I'm really excited because then I have one of every ghost cube on the market in here. No, it's not in here. This is a package from Light Take, I believe. All right, so I still actually have no clue where this is from. There's a little packet in here. Uh, the packet. Oh, this is this is from Light Take. This package is from Light Take. I remember looking at this uh, on their site yesterday. It comes with the okay, the Moyu Along from Light Take, my Moyu Dianma, which I ordered a long time ago, which I won't really be going over, and then this new puzzle, which is a brand I've never seen before. Uh, let's quickly just go over the other ones first. I got my, got my letter opener, and open that up. Dianma. Still not really sure what I think about it. I know Alex Devani loves this. So I might give this Dian Matsum since I already have black and white. But I still appreciate uh, Alex sending this to me. I'll have a review of this after I graduate in about a month. But it's, I guess it's decent out of the box. Pretty good. The pieces are not proportional as you can tell. The edges are smaller than the corners. But next we have the Moyu Aolong. And this puzzle I absolutely love. Out of the box, it's dry and scratchy, but really fast. And after working it in, all the factory lube really goes to work. And this puzzle becomes amazing. This is probably going to be my main. I just have to get more stickers because I hate Moyu shades. I hate the green and orange with a passion. Next, we have this 3x3, which I will quickly look up the name of after I get it out of the little bag. It's about four dollars and seventeen cents on the light take site. But let me quickly go check out the name. I did mess up on the price. It's four dollars and seventy one cents, not seventeen. But this is the name of it. I really don't want to butcher it, but I I'm gonna I guess guess it's the Hui Yan. Probably wrong, but I've never seen this logo before, so I'm not quite sure what the uh what the company is or what the brand is, but it's a cheap cube. The stickers already feel frosted or uh, textured, and I'm not sure how it's going to be. I think the pieces. I'm guessing they're like regular pieces, but first turns. I think this is just a regular cube, and nothing really that special about the corners. They have spaded corners. I know one of the old Shang Shao 3x3s has uh, spaded corners. Spaded corners are just corners that look like spades right here. Let's try and get the light on it. Can't really get it on black puzzles, but they also have these tracks right here for the pieces to glide along. And I'm not going to say it's a bad cube, but I'm not going to say it's speed cube worthy. Something that's speed cube worthy, or my best puzzle uh, at the moment, is either the Moyu Long, which is the Moyu version, a Moyu Way Long version three, or the Gans three fifty seven millimeters, which is my main as of now. But after I sticker this, I'm gonna do an average of a hundred on both of these, see which one I do better on, and then whichever one I do better on, I will make that one my new main. But these puzzles are all great. This one's not a speed cube, but it's a great puzzle to have in my collection now. And this Moyu Along and Dianma, I will definitely have a review out for in the near future. Just before I graduate in the next month, I have lots of work to do and lots of things to take care of. And also, I've not forgotten about the crazy potatoes. They're actually kind of disgusting now. I might as well show you. They're starting to sprout, and the sprouts are huge. So, so yeah, that's about it about the crazy potatoes. But anyways, look forward to reviews on all these puzzles. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed that live stream I did of me scrambling all my puzzles. It was a lot of fun, and I'd like to thank Cores Cubing and Chris, Alex Devani the Nub, and Shane Grogan for all coming over and helping. You guys should definitely go subscribe to Alex Devani the Nub. 
and Chords Cubing. I'll have links to their channels in the description. I really appreciate it if you guys go show your love, you guys show me towards Chords Cubing and Alex Devon the Nub. But anyways, here is what my collection looks like after we scrambled, or we solved most of it except for 50 of them. It was, the hardest part was definitely putting it all back. Also, I got a Tupminx in the live stream. I got a package with a Tupminx because I won a contest for $100 and then I was able to buy a uh, buy a Tupminx and also a Lattice Cube. One quick last thing is that I recently got a discount code for all my viewers for the cubicle.us. It's uh, Tech Cube Dude all in caps and that's T E H Cube Dude and that will get you 5% off on orders of $20 or more. So go ahead and feel free to use that every time you get an order from their site. So I'd like to thank Lighttake for sending me the Along and then this 3x3 three three to test out for you guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing from Lighttake.com. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the letter war winners. This video's letters are PKS. Read the description if you're confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.